So in this video we're going to look at the influence shooting vests have on the muzzle vibration in an air rifle. So I'll be firing off three different rests. We'll use the sand bag, a brick, and I'll also shoot one freehand. And we'll compare the difference between the three. But first I'll determine when exactly the pellet leaves the muzzle. So it's recording now at 1 40th speed, or playing back at 1 40th speed I should say. So if I rewind that you can see that it's captured a picture just as the pellet exits. So that gives us a time reference. So whatever happens before that time is going to influence where the shot hits. So I've removed the background and replaced it with a grid so you can easily see the vibration. So again rewinding that and pausing it as the pellet exits you can see that the barrels are in very different positions. The sandbag is relatively straight, the offhand is down slightly and the brick's up and that's what you'd expect. The brick will resist the downward movement and emphasize the upward movement as it jumps back and that small movement at the muzzle is going to make a large difference downrange. Well that's all good and expected but it means nothing if it's not consistent. <laughs> so I've gone out a few days later and filmed three more offhand shots just to compare them to see if they're all the same. So that shows that all the three offhand shots were in sync. The peaks of the vibration were at the same magnitude and at the same time. So as long as the vibration is the same every shot and the pellets leaving at the same velocity every shot, you should have good accuracy. And that's why what rest you're using, particularly with a spring air gun, is very important in regards to that accuracy. So although this vibration is most emphasised in spring air guns, the principle is the same for all firearms. The muzzle is moving due to stresses in the barrel and vibration well before the bullet exits even in the highest velocity rifles. And that's the reason for free floating barrels where the barrel doesn't touch the stock. That's to let the barrel vibrate in its natural frequency so you always get a consistent shot.